guys, this is my first time making a sound effect in pigments. Uh, and this one will be the lawn mower sound requested by Richard Scott. Hi Richard, this is for you. <laughs> yeah, let's start. What do I have to add? Yeah, if we don't know each other, my name is Unahit. I make sound design videos, music production videos, mostly sound design videos though. Yeah. Actually, am I pronouncing it right? Lawn mower? I think you know what I mean, right? I will put that in the title, so okay. Obviously, we'll start by searching for pigments in our search, search, search section. Hello. Okay, so for the first thing is that when you press the new preset here, it just shows this window, which, I mean, I don't want anything to be working, you know, when I start from the clean page. No, 6-1, shut up. Uh, due to everyone, just shut up. Ah, uh, cool. Yes. Yes. So as you can see, this geniusnessness has three engines and every engine has different type of ways you can use it it's like magic beautiful um so i'm going to use the first engine first i'm going to have it wavetable okay with this switch you change the view between the like wavetable like not wavetable yeah wavetable and this type of analog how to say it's like it's like here you just see the basic shape of this let's say wave right and in this case it's it squashes all the waves that are in there that you can choose from so you can see the those everything why <laughs> because because in this, for example, preset, you just don't have the sine wave. You have the sine wave. If you want to use the sine wave, you can use the sine wave. But you also have these versions. For example, if you change between those, first type. Yes, look. If you change between the position, look. Changes between different shapes that this preset has. Here, you have all the... Okay. I think you understand me, okay? Shrill, let's go up. No, no, let's go further. But you know what? I'm going to use not the wave table one. I'm going to use the analog one. So here we have this uh, waveform, the round one. I'm sure some of you maybe not heard of it. It's like basically type of a triangle wave, but it's oscillator, yeah. But it's it has a very sharp ending, which kind of is what we need, I think and then we need some type of noise and i think <laughs> funny funny thing this one is the white noise <laughs> it's black because we changed the theme <laughs> uh, pigments you're you're funny so basically i'm going to add some white noise here guys we forgot our ritual that we have to damn sorry um shut up Okay, I suggest to bring this volume a bit down. <laughs> and I'm going to turn off this hot FM modulations. And I will need a bit of this second one. Actually, let's have it octave lower. Okay. Actually, I forgot that if you want to activate this noise thing. <laughs> So did to bring up the volume of it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's play around with these course course pitches to make the dissonance we need. I will bring this oscillator too. For here.
You know what? Let's also change the fine tuning of it. For the next part, I want to use the sample. Here we have some options, different samples. Let's try some and see what we can use. Say this one, no. Say this one. Okay. Ah. Can you shut up a bit? Okay, thank you. This one, I think, is the one actually. Why? I'll tell you why. So here, by just uh, toggling this edit option, I'm going to choose one part that I will need to be looped. And yeah, like this. But in a right bit smaller. smaller. Let's transfer it higher. Too much of a low cont content. Let's change it. Okay, found the one. I transposed it. So, as I know, because I n I've never used lone mowers, I just heard it. Uh, from the internet, the sound of it. Uh, I think it needs a bit tuning to be like, ooh, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Yeah, I left for one, two, this one. And it's pretty easy to assign. It has different ways of assignation. So here we're going to just grab this and drop on the fine tune by the way by the way interesting fact if you just have it like this just hear your sound and in the middle of it you'll decide okay let's see what can it sound if i ch assign this one to this thing you just listen and hover it to that parameter and you can hear it decided to add this random to two random one to this one so it's more random the fine tuning but Actually, it's taking so much CPU, I think I'm cracking a lot, so I'm sorry for that. I'll have to look at that, of course, obviously. Okay, um, I think we lack some of the low end. I think we need some of the low end, so if we just transpose it, I know, I know. You're like, ah, you can do that in there, I know. But still, I like in my hands, you know. the transposition of this one so effects of course wait this thing effects oh gosh look it has like three slots of each you can have this one you can have this one you can have just run or whatever. Just run. Uh, why do you? Why did you set reverb instead of like this? I don't approve. No, you know you remember the one Mai Tai has it like automatically it assigns like the envelope to to the filter cutoff. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Don't 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 decide for me. Okay, need that. So shut up. Where are you? I'm going to remove you. None. Yes, none. 
I think I will add some EQ actually. It's, it's too big. We need it to make it smaller. So, uh, actually, when we close a bit the highs and the lo lows, we can get off that. And obviously, for both of them. Ah, it's just <laughs> big. Um, <laughs> I said we don't want you to destroy it before. Oh my god. No. Mm. I want to add I want to add distortion to this second layer. So then I will just add reverb on both of them. Here, uh, which river we should we add? Is this one we have to make? Actually, let's get this part of it, not of the second layer. I added some EQs too, so now it sounds like this. Hmm. What do you think? Like, I think there, are, it's just there are so many possibilities in pigments. I just use, I tried to use another method, and uh, I'm telling you, there are so many possibilities to do everything here. And I did this one just by uh, sequencer. Okay, actually, I, I like the first one better. This one. Yeah, I think this one sounds more like a mound blown mower. Anyways. Good. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed my exploration in pigments and making the sound effect for you. My first sound effect in pigments. I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, let me know what do you think. What I could have added that I didn't. If you, if you, I think we would have here a lot of experts of pigments. Pigment, right? So let me know. I will be happy to get all the criticism, comments, good comments, bad comments, as you know, all this. Okay, so I'm going to go leave like nothing else. No, everything. I'm tired, as you can see. Be good. <laughs>